Hello my beauties, mwah, mwah, mwah. I miss you guys so freaking much. If you guys don't know, I am Naomi and I pretty much do girl talks, girly advice, pretty much all that jazz and a little bit of travel. So if you are into that, my love, please follow, like, subscribe my channel. In regards to that, I'm gonna just get straight to the motherfucking video. So here's the thing. Some of this advice that you hear, you probably will not like, right? Some of the stuff that I may say may, may be extremely controversial. Um, and some people may look at this video and click off immediately. If you are not open to conversations about mental health, uh, please click, click off this video because this video may not be for you. So here's the thing. I'm going to start by saying I believe in therapy, modern medicine, um, mental health services, basically for people to improve and navigate through their life to become the best version of themselves. Let me start off right there so people don't think that I am very anti, you know, mental health because I'm not. I'm very pro mental health, right? But from what I've been seeing, I feel like um, specifically like with America, when it comes to mental health, I don't think we are doing enough. I feel like people on social media, TikTok, Instagram, they have this thing where they like to like really misdiagnose themselves or diagnose themselves without any type of like doctor, PhD. No, no one has even said that these that these people even had, you know, mental conditions or disorders, but they're basically labeling themselves as this mental disorder or as this condition. And like that is so freaking freaky to me. Like how can you sit there and be like, oh guys, hi, I'm like bipolar, I have bipolar disorder, when really you aren't, but then you choose to like create an entire like freaking like TikTok page about you having um, bipolar disorder. Meanwhile, like there's an expose about you basically not having it and you actually just doing it for money and views and um, for clicks and views. Like that is insane to me, like how easy people are able to just diagnose themselves so quickly and post it on social media and just make money off of it. Like that is like so freaking insane. I can never really grasp that because I'm just like, like why would you do that? Especially to the people that who are actually having these conditions and having to like live this, you know, going through what they have to go through. For you to sit there and like label yourself as this and capitalize on this and it's just so, it's just so freaking insane. I feel like TikTok does not do the due diligence on making sure that these people, like, I don't know, create more harm to other communities that they claim to be. And it's just like, this is just really insane. I feel like this, I'm not gonna say this is not only just America, but I feel like this kind of happens more with America. But um, I just specifically wanna talk about the topic of mental health because I see this very often in the men not in the mental health in the self-improvement space where a lot of people who have mental conditions and i'm not talking about the people who who cannot help the situations i'm talking about the people who can help the situations and who can make it better a lot of these people tend to I won't say hide behind their mental illnesses, but I will say they kind of use it as like a blanket for why they shouldn't or shouldn't do things. For instance, um, when it comes to your mental health, I feel like we should have, we should have a sense of individuality and a sense of almost self-responsibility, right? If you are, going through a mental condition or you are experiencing a mental condition or you have this mental condition, I feel like it's kind of like your responsibility to make sure you have it under control. And a lot of times people use their mental conditions to weaponize against people, to harm against people, to basically allow themselves to harm other people because they'd be like, oh, well, I have this mental condition, therefore I can say this and be excused by it because I told you I had a mental condition. And it's like, I don't, 
freaking think that's right. I don't think that's right. And I will never in my life think that's right. Because here's the thing. You have control over... And I'm not talking about people who don't. I'm talking about people who can. Like, you have control over your mental health. And you need to be held responsible for your mental health. For you to do shitty things and blame people for those shitty things and be like, oh, well, I told you I had a mental condition. Therefore, this is why you should have treated me better. It's like, that's just insane to me. And I don't feel, I don't feel like it's right. I, and I never will feel like it's right. I'm sorry. I will never feel like it's right. I just feel like, like, how do I explain this? So you have to have your own responsibility when it comes to your mental health, Pretty, period, is what I'm saying. A lot of people, we have gotten so comfortable with just, just being like, I don't know, using our mental health to be mean or malicious or cruel, just to say, well, you already knew I was mentally ill. And I don't feel like, like mental illness should not be made as a quirk, you know, like, it's it's a condition it's something that's meant to be taken serious it's not something that'd be like oh it just adds to my personality <laughs> like it's not meant to be that way and i hate when people sit here and they allow themselves to basically like basically i'm trying to be very careful with my words because i know this is a very sensitive topic so if it takes me a while to get my words i apologize but i'm just tired of people who are shitty who use their mental condition as an excuse to be a shittier person is what i meant to say and i've experienced this a lot of not to say a lot but i would say a decent amount of times um especially when um especially in the past when i was younger and i was a people pleaser and a lot of times i allowed people to push me and when i say push me i mean emotionally or it's a hypothetical, you know, push me in a way where I allowed them to manipulate me because I was too scared to speak up because they were not having their mental condition under under ropes or under set, you know. And I feel like we have gotten way too comfortable with just throwing medication at the problem instead of just really diving deep before we decide, okay, maybe medication will be the last result, right? And as I said, I am very pro-medication. I'm very pro, um, I am very pro-medication. I'm very pro mental health services. I'm very pro-therapy. But I feel like as America, as a whole, we've gotten way too comfortable with just throwing money at the problem instead of just trying to understand the problem and trying to find solutions with the problem. A lot of people are very like depressed, um, sad, and we are going through like also a huge inflation. So a lot of people can't even afford to live by themselves, let it on, like eat, you know? So it's like, when it comes to that, I just feel like America or just people as a whole, I feel like we've just gotten way too comfortable with allowing our mental illness or conditions to basically um, trap us within ourselves. At some point, you're gonna have to look outside and be like, damn, um, I'm breathing and I'm, I'm doing okay. I may not be the best of what I am for what I am right now, but I feel like I can do it, you know? And like I just said, we just keep adding, we just keep throwing money at the problem instead of really just trying to decide, okay, what's really wrong with me? What haven't, what's something that I need to let go? How do I let go? And we should really be asking these important questions instead of sitting here and just really just destroying ourselves pretty much. And, I, and as a person who has a mental condition, as someone who does have a mental condition, um, I'm not gonna say I'm gonna I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh well, I'm perfect and I under da, da, da. like I'm not fucking perfect, trust me. I know how it feels to to really just hate yourself. I understand how it feels to not want to get up in the morning because you're so like you don't wanna feel like you just don't wanna be outside, you don't wanna be near people, you don't wanna do anything. I exactly understand how you feel. But I feel like as I said, your mental illness should not like basically create 
a space where it starts to damage other people or hurt other people. At the end of the day, you are responsible for your own happiness and you are responsible for your own emotions. And to sit here and allow your mental condition to basically, and this is I'm talking about people who acknowledge this. Like, I'm not talking about the people who don't acknowledge it. I'm talking about the people who acknowledge that they are creating harm against others. Um, but basically allowing your mental condition to harm others or create a space where it's not safe for people and you start to just basically weaponize your mental condition against other people. And as I said, like your mental illness is not a quirk, sis. It's not something that's cute. It's not something that's like part of your personality. It's not something that's made to be a badge of honor. Um, you are going through it, sis. And for you to sit there and try to, you know, make it seem as though it's like that, it's not cute. And I'm not talking about the people who are, as I said, I'm talking about the people who use their mental illness as a scapegoat for to basically commit bad things or people who basically don't hold themselves accountable for bad shit that they do because of their mental conditions so it's like <sighs> sorry i had to just get that out of my system because i am a little bit nervous to even post this video because i don't want people to i want people to create a conversation but i don't want people to feel as though like i'm being mean or angry towards those people i'm really not i'm just saying like we, as a whole, as people, we've gotten too comfortable with just letting people just pass by and just treat people like shit just because they're mentally ill or not like that, but like just because they're mentally ill or they're having a condition or something like that, you know? People should still try their hardest to still be kind and loving and understanding, as I fucking believe. It is what it is. Um, and they shouldn't sit there and try to harm people or find ways of why they should harm people because of their mental illness or condition but in regards to that i want to hear what you guys like think about this i know it's like as i said this is like one of my probably one of my most controversial videos um in regards to that but as i said um a mental illness or condition is not a quirk stop acting like it and also um just really really just do some really deep reflection and decide like am i harming others by basically claiming that my mental illness is basically the way of how i deal with things you know but in regards to that um i love you guys i shall see you guys in the next video bye